Gravit has just released a new method of exporting with far greater features than before. Today I will show you how to fully utilize these features. To export a file in Gravit, you can either hit the export button on the top right of the designer or use file and then export from the menu. The new export settings that have been introduced to Gravit are selection, canvas and asset options. Canvas is a setting that is a refinement on the original version of the Gravit export feature. To export using Canvas, all you need to do is to select the export button while in the designer and ensure you have the Canvas option selected. From here, you have the option to export in either PNG, JPEG or SVG. In PNG or JPEG, you can select the export output to be options such as double or half the size, define the width or height to be 512 and set the other to auto, export to 128 square or use a 300 dpi export for print. A further option that JPEG has is to set the quality of the exporter using a slider, which gives you a real-time preview of the export. Once you have selected all of the appropriate options, simply select export and your design will be downloaded. Note that the download will automatically take the Gravit design name as the download name. An extra feature to mention when exporting a project to JPEG with a transparent background is that in the export window, you can change the default background color of black to any color that works for your project. The next feature to note is the ability to export by selection. What this means is that files can be exported as single files by what you select before clicking export. As an example, I will select these items. Please note their custom layer names. Next, I will once again select export and go to the selection tab. From here, on the right of the window, you will see the items selected with the names of the layers next to them. You can choose to export or not export files by using the tick functionality. You should recognize the same settings present from the canvas export. Once all of the appropriate changes have been made, you can select export and the download will be in the form of a zip file. Within the zip file will be all of the files you have selected with their appropriate names and file types. An extra feature to mention when exporting is that at any time you can create a directory to organize your layers after exporting by adding a directory name and forward slash before the name of the layer. This will by default create directories and organize layers with the same directory names together. The last export option to note is the ability to export using the assets tab. To export using the assets function, you must firstly select the appropriate layers or folders and select the make exportable plus icon on the right. Once you have selected this, you will see some recognizable options, as well as a new setting called suffix, which adds text to the end of the export name to segregate different exports, for example, by size. The reason the suffix is needed is because you can export multiple sets of one asset using the plus icon. From here, you can choose to export both a PNG and SVG set of the asset, for example. To export this, once again to go to export, select the asset tab and export. Your asset options, including suffix, will be downloaded within a zip file. The final new feature to mention is the use of slicing when exporting. At any time, a slice can be created through the object tool in the toolbar and simply dragging an area. The slice can be made exportable the same way as before and will then appear in the asset export screen. Another slicing method is by selecting an existing object and select add new slice on the properties panel. This will have the same effect as the other method, only that it is directly over the object specified. Slices can have their settings changed to either trim transparent pixels as well as change the background color on export. Finally, you can hide slices through the view drop down if you would prefer to not see them. We at Gravit hope you have found this tutorial useful and hope you tune in to the next edition.